So I was working my way down the Next.js docs to try to learn more about the app router, and I ended up trying out the parallel routes, which is actually a really cool feature. I wanted to make a video about this and kind of demo it to you all and explain it. Um, but then I started running into strange bugs by following the docs. Like it doesn't seem like these docs are either updated or there's a bug in the app router. And that kind of led me down a path of like, is this stuff even like ready for production, to be honest? Like a lot of the stuff seems like it works, but when you read through the docs and you try stuff and it just doesn't work, you're kind of like, dude, what's going on here? But let me just share with you anyway, because I do think this is a pretty cool feature and it is useful. So over here, we have a page that has a left center and right. And let's look at the code real quick. So how I have this set up is I have a Pokemon page here. Okay. And inside of this Pokemon directory, we have a left and a right folder, right? You have these at symbols and that's how you can define parallel routes. And what this allows you to do is if you look at your layout, notice that you now have access to props.left and props.right. So the name of this member or this property on your props object is actually going to be the name of the folder here. And you can use this to have nested routes kind of load into your page dynamically. And according to the docs, they're both supposed to be like behind a suspense and they're supposed to load individually and stream it individually. But let me show you what happens um, when I refresh the page. Let's just go ahead and refresh. Notice that it says loading stuff for all three things, all right? And if you look at this, it seems like it's working pretty good, but it's not supposed to say loading stuff on all three of those because I actually have individual loaders right here, right? Loading, this should say loading left. Over here, this should say loading right. And then the main loader should say loading stuff, okay? So this should say loading stuff, loading left, loading right. Like, like I showed, it just says loading stuff for all of this. And I went back to the docs, I'm like reading through this, I'm like, am I just doing something wrong? And then they even show you a picture saying that if you have at whatever loading, that loader is going to show right here, but that's definitely not how this is working in uh, whatever release of Next I'm on. I think I'm on like 13.4.4. So then I went to another you know, repo that has 1.8 thousand open issues, and I was kind of reading through, doing some searching, and I found this one. Parallel routes do not apply individual loading TSX as described in documentation. So I read through here, basically the exact same issue, where they're saying that the docs say it should work, but then you do it, and it doesn't work. I believe one of the maintainers kind of gave a hack solution that you can do um, by adding route groups, which is another thing we can kind of talk about later in another video. But basically the fix for this right now, which kind of sucks, like I wish we didn't have to add this hack into a production ready approach to something. Um, let's just go ahead and add in route groups. So we can say hack. Okay, and by the way, call me out in the comments if there's actually like a you know, a, re a better solution for this. And another thing is when I do those route groups, like my entire thing just breaks. Like I, I have to restart my server or else like it just doesn't ever load. I don't know why this happens. So yet another bug with the next app router. Let's just restart the entire server. As you can tell, I'm just kind of frustrated because I spent time trying to figure out why the documentation wasn't working and uh, it's just a bug. So now it says loading left in the center loading stuff over here and loading right over here, which works. This is exactly what it's supposed to do. And this is a cool feature. I like this. And now if you notice on the left, I have a special loader and inside of the page, it has a promise that resolves after two seconds. And then it actually shows the content on the right panel. It has a timeout of four seconds, generates a random number and displays that in the, in the Dom. Sorry, that was kind of hidden by my head. Just a promise that waits for four seconds. And then on the main page, we just wait for a second. So that's how I'm kind of like adding in that fake delay that you can see. But if this feature is actually like working perfectly fine, like this is a really cool approach to basically using parallel routes to like load in different things. Definitely, definitely awesome. I kind of like this. I think this is a really cool way to like set up your application. And if you scroll down further in the docs, they talk about how you can use this for like modals and stuff like that. Another thing I'm kind of confused about is I would think that if I were to add a an, another folder here called another and add a page into that, I would think that I would have access to do Pokemon slash another, right? Does that make sense? But maybe I'm not understanding this. I, mean, I, got, I got to read some more stuff. But if you do another here, it just 404 is not found. It just can't find that path. 
which makes me kind of even wonder like, is this a bug or is this like me not understanding how the router works? Because over here, if you have other slash another, like this will work. If I do other slash another, that works fine. So like maybe it's because we have this parallel router going on. Um, you can't just have like a nested route like this because it doesn't know where to inject left and right. But I would think that children would just inject this page here. I'm going to wrap this video up. I don't want to complain too much about Next.js. Um, I try not to complain about software that people are working on. Um, and I'm sure they're trying to fix this behind the scenes. It's just frustrating that um, us developers end up having to deal with this stuff when you're told that this stuff is production ready. But anyway, go check it out. Leave a comment if you guys have found other bugs that have kind of tripped you up. And uh, like always, have a good day and happy coding.